All right, so I'm gonna do a quick video on how to open up and disassemble and upgrade this Alienware 17R5. Um, so you need a PH1 screwdriver and then you'll just remove all the screws. So this one will stay in place. You just unscrew it and it'll actually stay there. Um, but you'll remove all the other ones. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I removed these back ones earlier, but um, you don't need to remove those. So if you're just upgrading it, you just need to remove these screws. Um, I'm not going to do a complete teardown, just how to open up this um, case. Okay. So once you get all these screws out, what you want to do is get your pry tool or fingernail within underneath this um, silver or gray bottom cover, and you kind of just have to pull it up. Um, you can try, I don't know if a suction cup will work, let's try. Uh, no, it's not strong enough. So you will have to use your pry tool or fingernails. These clips are pretty difficult to um, undo, but they are all around the outer edge. So um, what you want to do is kind of just pull it up kind of hard. And if you can, kind of push the edge of it so it goes inwards, okay? Um, you kind of want the frame to bow inwards because the clips actually hook like out towards the outer edges like this. Okay, so I kind of already took it out so it's a little bit easier um, for me. Um, but the clips are still pretty strong. Okay, so you just kind of got to work at and then work at it and then there you go. Let me turn this off. Okay, so there you go. So there, are, that's how you get it out. I believe there's this one clip in the middle as well. So, um, and then there are two little clips here. So you kind of just have to pull at it and it will eventually come out. So the clips, they do clip in a way that the center ones, if you pull the cover down this way, it'll come out easier, okay? So that's how you do that, all right? So I don't know if there's stuff underneath the keyboard or on the other side. Sometimes a lot of these gaming laptops will have extra an extra two sticks of RAM on the other side. But um, this is what's on the bottom that you can upgrade. So here you can see this is 8 gigs. Um, I don't know if you can read it. It's blurry. Um, but 8 gigs, PC4, 2400T. So hopefully that helps you. If you wanted to upgrade it, you can get 16 gig sticks um, and put that. Though this already has 16 gigs of RAM. Most people won't need any more than that. That's already a lot. Um, I'll leave this stick out because... If you want to um, change out this hard drive, so this hard drive actually failed on their computer. Um, this cover had a very nice convenient place to put the screws. Um, so I took the screws out and put them here. These are the hard drive screws. Um, let me see if I can zoom in and show you how to do, disconnect the cable. Um, so the hard drive um, cable is here. So to remove that, what I do is I kind of pull on this and then I use my fingernail or a pry tool underneath the corner edge and kind of just pop it up just like that, okay? So that's how you would disconnect that cable. Um, you can try and just pull with just the, the strap here or this plastic um, little tab, but I usually find it doesn't come out very easily, okay? Uh, make sure if you accidentally knock this out to keep it in place and then push this latch back down. It did come out a little bit, okay? So here you got these, they are labeled somewhat. So there's the keyboard here, keyboard connector here, and the keyboard backlight connector here. And then I'm not sure what this is. Um, there's two connectors, or actually there's one connector here. The other one doesn't seem like there's anything under it. So I'm guessing this, I don't know what MK stands for. I'm going to guess it's um, the touchpad. I don't know, MK mouse clacker i don't know what it is i don't know what that is if somebody knows what it is let me know this also says mk so i'm kind of i don't know i don't know what mk stands for um mkbl okay so i think that is the mk is probably the mouse tr um, trackpad thing and then this is the backlight for the trackpad then you got the battery connector here so usually if you're removing um other stuff you want to disconnect the battery this battery is kind of difficult to get to. Oh, sorry, you probably didn't even see what I was talking about with all the other stuff. But um, this is um, trackpad backlight, I believe. Then I think this is for the speakers. Um, they do tell you here for the battery thing to disconnect the cable for the battery first. So before you start messing with random stuff in here, if you don't know what you're doing, you probably want to disconnect this first and then hold the power button down for about 15 seconds to drain any power. But um, the cable, it has a slightly raised lip, so you, to get it out, you kind of just use your fingernails or a pry tool and you kind of just keep wiggling it and it pops out like that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna leave that in. Okay, plug that back in. All right, so on this one, um, their hard drive was actually bad. The main thing I'm doing is just upgrading it to an SSD. I took out the bad hard drive because I don't want it to cause issues in the computer. Um, but as you can see, this has multiple SSD slots. Um, hopefully you can see that. So there's a, this is like a half size. I don't know what the actual length is, I forgot. Um, but this is like a smaller M.2 SSD slot. Then there's an SSD PCIe slot here. And then there's another M.2 um, SSD slot here. So I don't know if they all support PCIe NVMe, but this one, it says to um, put PCIe NVMe. It says it doesn't support the others. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This is SSD2, SSD3, SSD4, and then this one is um, the hard drive or SSD1, I think. Yeah, they don't really put a number on it, but it says hard drive or SSD. Then you got the speakers here. There's not really much else you can do underneath this cover. Um, there is one other thing here is the um, DC jack. So if for some reason your charge port gets damaged, you can try disconnecting that and then see if you can um, connect a new one without taking the whole computer apart if you think that's the issue. And then you got these connectors for the, they call them Tron lights. I think those are, oops, can't see what I'm talking about. So they got these, they call them like Tron lights. The cable goes under here and then it lights up these side lights and that's on both sides. Okay, so that's pretty much all I'm going to show for this model. Um, there are the two fans here. I cleaned them up. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I'm going to show for this model. They don't need anything taken apart inside, so I'm not going to take anything apart inside of the computer. But yeah, hopefully this video helped you at least to upgrade your computer. Um, if it did, please like and subscribe because that will help others find this video so that they can kind of learn from this. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.